Welcome back. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to export this out for 3D printing. And it's going to be the same exact method for every single brush that we do with the Suzanne here. But all you need to do is go into object mode. And notice when I switch back from sculpting to object mode, we're not seeing our sculpt here. And that's because our level viewport is turned way down. But let's just leave that for now. We're going to, you know, you can always bring it back, but let's just leave it low for now. And what we need to do is essentially just make this Suzanne watertight because right now the eyes are actually separate. If you've taken my Blender 101, you know that this model is not 3D printable. So let's fix it real quick. Just go into edit mode on Suzanne, hover over the eye, hit L, hover over this eye, hit L on the keyboard, and then let's hit P to pop them off by selection. And we can just rename that eyes. And if we go into edit mode, we can take our 3D print toolbox and go to clean up and make manifold. And there we go. So those are fixed. And then we can take our Suzanne, make that manifold, and then click on the eyeballs and shift click on the head and do control plus. And so now it is manifold. And you can even do control P and that will parent the eyes to the head as well. So now everything is tucked away inside of Suzanne and this is 3D printable. And so now if we increase our viewport level, you can see all of our sculpting is coming back. And it may take a second because it's it's operating this Boolean as well. So, uh, you know, you may have to, sometimes it'll say not, not responding at the top, but don't worry, just give it a second uh, because it's adding all those, you know, half a million polygons and trying to calculate the, the Boolean here. And so notice we have everything for the head, but we need it for the eyes as well. So we can click on the eyes and then, you know, crank that back up to five as well. And then it may take a second uh, just to calculate, you know, it's adding all those tons and tons of polygons and then, you know, m blending them together to the head. And there you go. So now you've got, you know, everything sculpted how you want it. Everything is generative. So you could always, you know, delete this multi-res and start over. If you wanted to, you know, if we turn that off, um, you know, the eyes would go back to normal and you could start fresh. So that's what's really cool about using Blender modifiers in your workflow. So now when you want to export it, just click on the main file here. So this will be our Suzanne. Go to your 3D print toolbox and then under export, tell it where you want it to go. And I've just got an STLs folder here and then hit export. And then you should get a confirmation down at the bottom right there. And now you can bring this file into a slicer of your choice and you've got all your details there. Go ahead and slice it up with any settings that you prefer. And there you go. So now you've got a blended sculpted monkey straight out of Blender. And notice the eyes are all connected in one form and that's what you want. And so you would definitely need some support materials. I would probably lay this down and chop off the bottom like we did in the beginner 101. Uh, course, but you know, I just wanted to show you really quickly how to get your designs out of Blender and into your slicer. So that way, when you start, uh, you know, using all these different brushes over the next few lessons, and maybe, you know, you may love one that you make and you may want to print it. So this is how you do it. So that is the workflow. Let's go ahead and jump into the next lesson.